looking at the camera. Hi, let's say some things now. This is Ash Firebase 20, scene one, take one, mark. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hashtag Ask Firebase, the show where we answer your Firebase related questions. I'm Jen Persing, training specialist here at Google, and I'm gonna be answering your questions about cloud functions for Firebase. Let's get started. Our first question comes from Hassan on Stack Overflow. I'm looking for a way to schedule cloud functions for Firebase to occur at a specific time. That's a great question. We actually have a couple of options for that. Check out our examples on the GitHub. We have a sample that shows how to use third-party scheduling tools to set up your functions to trigger at a specific time. The second option that you have is to set up an App Engine instance. And if you'd like to know more about that, Abe Haskins has already created a blog post about it. And you can check out both of those in the links below. Thanks for your question. Moving on to the next question. Our next question comes from Shiv on Twitter. And Shiv would like to know, can I use, this is a long question. Can I use Google Speech and Vision APIs from Cloud Functions for Firebase when a file is uploaded to my storage bucket? If you'd like to see an example of this, you can check out our GitHub samples, which has one on moderating images. It uses Google Cloud Vision API to look at an image, determine if it is violent or inappropriate content, and then blur it out using image magic. If you'd like to see that sample, of course, check out the links below. I said thanks for the question in the beginning. Thank you for your question. And moving on to the next question. Our next question comes from Paris on Twitter. And Paris says, hi, that gen person. I wanted to know how to use Cloud Functions using Angular Fire 2. Now, Cloud Functions runs on the back end using node.js and not in the client. So whether you have an Android app or an iOS app or a web app, all of the code is going to be the same. To get started on Cloud Functions for Firebase on any platform, check out my Firecast video and you can follow along there. Links are in the description below. Great question. Let's go, next question. This next question comes up a lot. A lot of you have been wondering, in Cloud Functions database triggers, what's the difference between event.data.ref and event.data.adminref? Event.data.ref works with the same permissions as the user who triggered the change. So whatever that user has access to, ref has access to. Event.data.adminref has full unrestricted access to anything in the database. Now, as you can imagine, there are certain reasons to use either of these. You're gonna have to look at the specific needs of your app to determine which works best for you. If you use the admin SDK, it's the same thing as using admin ref. Great question, everyone. Moving on to the next question. This next question comes to us from Cackle on YouTube. Cloud Functions is a really cool feature for Firebase. What languages are planned to be supported in later updates? Now, we will be supporting more languages in the future, but it's too soon to tell what those will be. But we would love to know what you think. Go ahead and share your input in the comments below. Thanks for your question. Smile. All right, that's all the questions we have today on this episode of Hashtag Ask Firebase. If you have some Firebase questions you would like to see answered, go ahead and post them on Stack Overflow or Twitter or right here on YouTube with the hashtag Ask Firebase. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Firebase channel and we'll see you next time. Toodles. Ah. You guys are like wizards if you can make something out of this. It's just like magical. You're making me laugh. Don't, okay.